we were looking for a location to set up, just talking to community uh, folks, and you know, it's just it's sort of they like taking that in and how how it looked. And um, I saw I saw Sal out here, and, he, and I was you know I was saying hi, I was uh, talking to people, and then I I, I said, hey man, how are, how are you? And he's like, I lost everything, man. The business, you know, the, the the thing. I just started this business a week ago. I worked really hard, and now now this happened, and I don't know what to do. And you know, and, and I was like, hey, can can we use your spot to set up? To set up stuff, to set up, you know, uh, supplies. Can we help? Can we use your place to help the community? He was like, "That's exactly what I want to do," and boom. I mean, next thing you know, we just moved in stuff, and it just filled up so quickly. And because of like great organizers, like like Sophia, and like you know the community folks. Like here we have like kids from the community will help out with everything. I mean, all the organizers are growing and evolving. And I think because of Occupy Wall Street, we've learned. So many. We've we've begun, we've gotten to trust. You know, we've we've trusted each other so well and know each other's skills so well that it makes this it makes this a lot easier than I think a lot of folks. That's why a lot of folks are surprised. You know, from like FEMA to the National Guard to the uh, mayor's office. Um, you know, to to the to the Red Cross. Yeah, yeah. It's funny how many times I hear folks. I mean, uh, a lot of a lot of the organizers do have like. Uh, training or experience with Katrina but it's funny how many folks that didn't have training with Katrina say that like if it wasn't for Zuccotti they wouldn't have been ready for this moment which is just blows my mind you know that like essentially it was like training us if it wasn't for Zuccotti I think a lot of the organizers here um, or the ones who were the, the folks who are you know helping out like they they wouldn't sort of understand the way that we work right and in the way that like things get done quicker and I think more efficient more more efficiently and i think in a way that really like goes against any sort of like oppression you know what i'm saying like we established here like on the second day we said this is not a it's not a racist place this is not a sexist place like this is a place where you know we're going to respect each other and we have to like call each other accountable and I think the, we're all growing. We're all growing. I mean, Occupy Wall Street is. I think it's learned its lesson with money. It's learned its lesson with this is with like community building. Like this is proving to the world that like the organizers that were with Occupy Wall Street were serious about, you know, creating a world that they want to see, and so this proves it. The best example I think is the Chilean movement, the Chilean student movement, who was criticized for a while and then was like regained its sort of reputation when the earthquake hit and Chilean students mobilize. It's the, it's the power of the networks that are already there. Um, and Occupy Wall Street is, is like no exception. Like everybody, you know, at first we were sort of like a little bit careful to like say Occupy is coming to save the day, but eventually like we noticed how important it was for folks to understand that this is not like FEMA, you know, this is not like the government. A lot of folks like still think that it's FEMA, essentially like when they see a, a news location, they assume it's FEMA, right? So. We have uh, at 7 p.m. every night we have a community meeting, which is probably the, the most important part of all this process. And that's something that like Red Cross and like FEMA don't give a damn about, right? I mean, you know, what we're trying to do here is, is establish that, you know, a, a, a location where the community can go for more than just their basic needs, right? I mean, we have so many community folks here who they keep on telling us like oh, you know a week ago I never thought like oh I'm gonna be running a distribution center at St. Camilla's you know what I'm saying and now like you know, they're becoming organizers they're becoming like they're becoming uh, committed you know uh, helpers committed you know supporters and it's funny how many of them were like oh, I want to join Occupy Wall Street and it's like you know we, we, we you know we always joke we're like oh should we let them in should we let them in you know um, but uh, but it's it's you know it's interesting. I think a lot of a lot of the community folks are really, you know, they've been sort of like activated and they've been inspired, and that's the that's the most beautiful part. And it's it's their involvement that's really gonna that's really gonna make this work. I mean, it can't, it's can't it can't come from you know from myself, from Bali, from volunteers coming in from uh, this is the community, and they're gonna stay here, you know, beyond you know when when folks are gone, and so. And so it's really important. That's really, really is the most important part. Like a guy, you know, comes over here like with a with a with a uh, a, a forty, you know, in his hand, and he's like, "Oh, what are you guys doing? Can I have something?" Yeah, of course, man. Here, take this. Here's some, you know. He's like, "Oh, really, really?" Puts away his bottle and becomes our doorman. And he's like, "I can say, you know, it's like, it's like he's like all he's in power now." And he's like, oh, "Great, he's got. He owns this, you know." And it's just, oh, it's just that's the beauty of it. And so many folks have been like, "I've lost everything. I've I, I lost my home. I, everything's destroyed. My whole life." destroyed but I've never felt better in my life 
because they were like essentially wait. It's so crazy. They're like, I'm so sad that we have to wait for this moment for us to be like so close and create a community. And like, this is this is why we're so addicted to this because we're all in love.